I noticed something quite extraordinary about the core and the core muscles. As you can see, a light press against the right side of the belly makes the skin on the same side, right next to the belly button, bulge up. This means that even the slightest compression of the right side is pushing so much against the midline that it causes the skin, the soft tissue, the superficial muscles and probably even the deeper muscles to be pressed together and being bulged up against the midline. This made me realize that we can use this to address conditions such as diastasis recti, lower back pain, pelvic alignment and upright posture. And even better, I know the perfect exercise just for that. In fact, I will show you an exercise sequence that is so nice, you will feel almost ecstatic. We will start in side lying on the left side and first activate the right side in a way that uses the full body, including your breathing. Then secondly, we will activate the left side with an unusual, surprising, slightly different strategy. Then, as a third step, we will turn around to side lying on the right side and improve on what we already did, almost as with the extra loop in the buttonhole stitch to secure fabric more firmly. And lastly, we will observe how all this can be used in sitting, standing and walking. Okay, then please come to lie onto your left side. As always, in a comfortable spot, the floor firm would be good. Something under your head, something to support your head and then your legs. Your legs folded up a little bit on top of each other. You can put a blanket in between your legs, whatever you need to be comfortable on your left side. And then place your right hand onto your right side. So above your hip. So when you examine your pelvis, you will find there's a rim, the iliac crest, a big bone, and then there's a soft area, and then there's your ribs. And just feel for this soft area in between your ribs and your pelvis. Because here are muscles, muscles we're trying to involve uh, tune up, <laughs> activate, talk to, and the muscles themselves, we can't feel them so well, but with your right hand, the hand is very dexterous, we have a lot of receptors for sensation in the hands, so you can feel those muscles, and when your head is resting, and which, when you're just so comfortably lying on your left side, you can feel this area on your right side, it should be rather soft, resting. And then our first movement, your first movement, my first movement, we will do it together, is the whole sequence, we will do it together. So lift your head as if you would like to look around in the room and at the same time feel with your right hand. With your right hand you should sense that the muscles here on your right side start to tighten up as soon as you lift your head. So rest your head again, bring down your head and then the muscles here on your right side in deep inside, the superficial muscles, the muscles deep inside your belly a little bit in the back and in the front and on your side these muscles relax when you rest your head and they tighten up they start to stabilize your core, that's your core muscles as soon as you lift your head. So that's Milestone number one, something I want you to feel and be, uh, I want, I need you to feel. So this is the core, not the, only your core, but also the core of this lesson. To be able to feel, to be aware of these muscles, tightening up, hardening up, stabilizing your core as soon as you load your core with the weight of your head and then rest your head again, especially if your neck muscles are not that well into training. This can be strenuous for your neck and stop before you hurt yourself, stop before it hurts. Yes, we need to take good care of ourselves. I mean, we are the only selves we have for ourselves and, and for our loved ones and everyone who needs us. So this needs to be in good shape and the neck and, and everything. <sighs> Most of all our sentiment, isn't it? So. As soon as you're ready, lift again your head and uh, by now you should feel your muscles tightening up, hardening up, stiffening up, 
stabilizing your center and, and also look around in the room a little bit. So don't just lift your head in the same way, but maybe a little bit forwards, a little bit backwards, look upwards to the right and to the left. And by this way, you're loading your core from different angles. So it's quite technical, but it's also functional. So you lift your, your head to look around and by lifting your head, these muscles start to fire, go off, be on fire, hopefully not. So, and then rest your head again. So that's um, the first part of this um, activation of the right side. And we will also be able to load the core with the leg. So instead of lifting the head, extend your right leg and start to lift your right leg ah, and feel. As soon as your leg is up in the air, your right side starts to, it's the same thing, just a bit more actually than with the head because your leg, hopefully your leg is heavier than your head. And then rest your leg again and, and do this a couple of time, times until you're really aware of this activation of your right side, of the core muscles on your right side. And you can extend your right leg and bring the right leg a little bit backwards and a little bit forwards. A little bit of a swing, but as you know, of course, it's not about the leg movements, but about the activation of, of your core, about becoming aware of the core. Not just, it's not, not even a training for the core, but an awareness training. Okay, and then rest again. Just do this until you're really, really aware of what's going on in, in your right side. That these muscles on the surface, but also further deeper down in, in your core. Stiffen up when you lift your leg. Okay, and then maybe you have already guessed it. Our next movement is to lift the head and the leg together. So lift your head, which means your right shoulder comes closer to your right hip joint. And lift your leg, which means your right hip joint comes closer to your right shoulder, leg is in the air, head is in the air, and then you can move them together. You can roll a little bit forwards or roll a little bit backwards and, and feel your right side, how, how the muscles are working to, to stabilize your, your center, to enable yourself to lift your right leg and your head at the same time. So, and then rest again. And then there's, yeah, or continue. Just uh, do it in your own time. You're free to do whatever you want to make of this exercise, but I'm giving you ideas. So, and the last, the last portion of this activation of your right side. So again, have your right hand on maybe a little bit in front and, and a little bit closer to your right hip joint. So you can feel your right side the right muscles, the muscles inside here, deep inside. So lift your head and lift your right leg a little bit and you will feel those muscles activating. But we will top that up even more by, think of pressing your left side, the left side against the floor, like really push the left side against the floor, <clears throat> like give it a, uh, like you lean you lean on your left side in, in this area or on the ribs or in this area between your ribs and your left pelvic uh, iliac crest. So you really lean against the left side and, and you will notice, wow, when you do this, there's muscles deep inside your core and, and they start to work as well as soon as you press your left side against the floor. So we switch on everything we have. So now, oh, the, Right leg is up, the head is up, you press against the floor with your left side and then the, the whole right side feels like, wow, like a sports person. It's everything is activated. Everything is working in our favor. Ah, and then take a break. <laughs> Not to overwork ourselves. So this is as, as much as we do in terms of core uh, training at the, uh, in this exercise. And now we will move over to 
the left side, but uh, stay on your left side, stay lying on your left side, but we will activate the core muscles on your left side. And, and how do we do this? So uh, think of lifting your left side uh, away from the floor a little bit. Mm. How can we how can we how can we think about this strange movement to lift off your left side from the floor? You could think of your pelvis, your right hip joint. You could think of your right hip joint moving away from your right shoulder downwards, and your right shoulder moving upwards. Actually, not the outer part of your right shoulder, but the inside part of your right shoulder. It's like you make a little bridge, so you could slip. You could slip something in between the floor and yourself. And what could we slip in there? For example, your left elbow. Think about moving your left elbow underneath your left side, like pulling your left elbow underneath your left side. But we don't want to do the full gonzo. We don't want to exert ourselves, but just the idea of moving your left elbow underneath your left side. You don't have, don't, don't actually do it. Just think about, make the beginning of the movement to pull your left elbow closer underneath. And by doing the beginning, you can already feel everything is starting to activate. And you go into this pattern of side bending to lift your left side off the floor closer towards your midline. Yes. Do you have me? Do you, do you have the idea of this? You, you start to pull your left elbow to move your left elbow underneath your left side, but you don't actually do it. You just use the muscle activation. So you become aware of these muscles switching on. What, what other? Think about, think about a friend uh, or, or your husband or, <laughs> or, or your best female friend, maybe that's more fun. And, and she has been out and outside, let's pretend that it's winter, winter time outside. It's really cold, and, but it's not snowing, it's raining. And she doesn't, she doesn't even wear a raincoat and she, she's out there to fix something. And then she comes in and she's, she's wet. Her, her hand is wet and her hand is really cold and wet. And then she wants to touch your left side. So it's like with a left, with a cold, wet hand touch, you're like, you, you don't touch my left side. You. <laughs> is that a good picture? You. So you, you move away from a, from a cold, wet hand. That, that's how it, how it should be. It's like an activation of your left side. So that's our core activation from your right side and from your left side, both towards the midline. And let's make these movements smaller, 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 smaller. So in fitness, we do everything bigger with more weights, more strenuous, but here awareness, somatic awareness, we do it smaller. So lift your head only a little bit and lift your leg only a little bit and see if you can feel if those muscles in your core switch on. Just lift your head a tiny little bit and your leg a tiny little bit just to switch on the core muscles. And then see if you can find this feeling, press your left side against the floor again and see if you can find this feeling of activating your core muscles. Even, even if you touch the back, you will feel your back muscles start to stabilize your core. So the whole right side works when you lift your head and your leg, but then try it without lifting your head and your leg, your right leg, just to switch on, to pull on these muscles together towards your midline. Yes, so less and less and less. And every time you do it, you do a little bit less and you rest your head and less and rest your head and less until it's only the activation of your core. So the, the, it's like rigging a sail on a sailboat. The muscles become tense, ready to work, but don't work yet. It's just tensing up and stabilizing your core from the right side. And then try the same thing from the left side. Just try to lift off your left side or try to pull your left elbow underneath yourself or, or feel the cold, wet hand of your friend to escape that hand just, to, uh, just a little bit. So the hand already warmed up. She's already inside, 
it's already warmed up, not wet anymore, just a, li a little bit. So you have this core activation until you can rest on your left side with an activated core and the deep core muscles, like the deep TA muscles inside. Yes? Yeah? That's something, isn't it? They're like, wow, core activation, very nice. Like, this is hard, like a young sports person. Yes? <laughs> Very good. Okay, so we did we did it on the left side. So please come to lie on your back. We take a rest on the back. Wow. Well earned rest on the back. <sighs> okay, and then we will do the same thing in lying on the right side. It's going to be the same muscles, very similar pattern, but we do it again while lying on the right side. So please turn over to lie onto your right side. And on your right side with your left hand, Touch your area on your left side, the area between your pelvis and your ribs. So for some there's a big gap, for some there's a smaller gap, but maybe there's a thing. Like just the muscles, find the muscles on your left side, your, your core muscles on your left side. And when you're resting on your right side, <sighs> so nice to rest on your right side. And then lift your head a little bit and by now you should feel a clear difference. When your head is up, you can feel, you should be able to feel those muscles. And then rest your head again and lift your head again just a little bit. And think about pressing your right side against the floor to also engage the deeper core muscles. Like really deep, the whole package starts to work when you lift your head or maybe even lift your left leg. Or don't lift your left leg and see if you can achieve this activation of your whole left side, the left side is pulled towards the midline and your belly doesn't dome out, it's just, it's just like a tight package <laughs> of, a, of a young sports person, like everything becomes tight and well supported, that's the thing, we don't, we, we're not looking for tightness, we're looking for support for, for, the, for the muscles on your left side coming closer to your midline and supporting everything starting the whole like your whole trunk starting from the midline without a gap in between the midline to the left so it starts at the midline ah somatic trickery all right and then focus on your right side so lift your right side off the floor with the idea of pulling your right elbow underneath your right side. But don't move your right elbow actually underneath your right side, just start to stabilize, tighten up and then at the left side, try to lift your head and bring the left side towards the midline and lift your right side towards the midline and so it's a full core activation. Like you Use everything we did so far. We pull everything together. And then let go again. Hmm. So do this of course in your in your own in your own time, on your own terms, until uh, or often enough until you really feel this core activation, which we will also use. In, in standing, of course, and in walking and in sitting, you can use it whenever you're upright whenever you need support from your core, which is uh, most of the time. And then let go again. And then do it less. We just want a minimal activation. We, we don't want to overdo it. So whenever you activate your core muscles like this, of course the interabdominal inter pressure is rise, ri rising a little bit. So and we don't want to squeeze our organs we, or squeeze our bladder. We don't want that. We just want to, we want the stabilization. And 
What about breathing? That's a good question. So the breathing should be independent. The breathing should be independent from the core stabilization. So when you think about pulling your left side towards your midline and pulling your right side towards the midline, you can feel the pressure building up inside a bit, so don't overdo it, but keep breathing. The breathe, just you, you, you're stable, you hold your core, you pull everything together, but you, you just breathe in, the diaphragm goes down and the chest can expand in every direction. And the core stabilization is independent. That's a, maybe a feature we humans have. We can produce speech, we can speak while we are walking. <laughs> we can speak while we are walking. We can speak while we are doing the dishes. We can move and speak. We can move and breathe. Our breathing is independent from our core stabilization. So that's another milestone, another important point in this lesson. Okay, and then take a rest on your back. A well-earned rest on the back. I. So the cores, the core muscles, are warmed up. The muscles are tightening towards the midline. The back muscles are working. The obliques, the TA. Even the abdominal muscles and the deep core muscles, everything is working together as a team to stabilize it. And maybe you can feel that while you're lying on the back, maybe, ah, maybe that did something for lying on the back. It can be so nice to just lie on the back. Ah. <laughs> I, I hope you also have this, this kind of feelings, this kind of feeling well, feeling well, yes. All right, so what is left to do? We need, we need to make this a long-lasting, permanent addition to our repertoire, a permanent ability. <laughs> yes, ability, a permanent, a well-integrated skill for our core stabilization, not just a, a, a short lived infatuation based love story with our core muscles. No, we need we need permanence. Per, is that a word? Permanence. We need long-lasting results. So, please come up into an upright position, uh, upright sitting, or even better, upright standing. And whether you are sitting or standing, try to have like a neutral spine, neutral curves, don't arch yourself back, don't fall forward, just be upright and feel, feel what we just did. So let's recap. Think about, think about how it was to lie on your left side and to lift your head and to lift your right leg in order to push your right side towards the midline, towards the floor, to lean with your left side on the floor. And then remember, recall, think about how it was to lift your left side off the floor, to escape your elbow, or escape the, the wet, cold hand of your friend who just came from the outside, winter landscape scenery. So, and the left side goes to the midline and the right side goes to the midline and, and build, up, build up this stabilization. And you can feel with both hands, of course, how, how this tightens up a little bit, not too much. Think of the intra-abdominal pressure. We don't want to pressure cook <laughs> our organs. We just want to have a support and stabilization. And of course, the breathing needs to be able to flow easily, but there should be a, a little bit of a tightening up, maybe 30% of what you could do. So try to establish this 
pulling the muscles from the left to your midline and pulling the muscles from your right to your midline and and if you're standing maybe take a few steps just a few steps forward slowly or a few steps backwards and see even though you're activating your core muscles you can side bend you can turn around you can take a few steps Yes, so this is support and, and, and play with how much you need. So what does it mean to overdo it and what does it mean to underdo it? <laughs> Underperform and overperform. We want to stay in, in a middle, in, in a mid-range, in a reasonable, sensible uh, mid-range and, and take a few steps. And again, play with these ideas and make them your own so you can make them long-lasting, you can make them part of yourself, you can find this kind of support within yourself and then you will have all kinds of benefits and of course joy and of course you will have a, yes it will just feel nice and you will feel supported and you will feel like why didn't I know about this all along? <laughs> it's so nice we should be taught how to do this in school like right from the beginning <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.